please. Hi and welcome to Spice and Pans. My name is Roland and today we'll be cooking Sichuan style spicy pickle mustard fish soup. So let's start cooking. We are going to marinate the fish now. I have with me over here a sea bass. This is approximately 550 grams. I've deboned it and cut it thinly like this for the flesh. As for the bones, we have actually cut it up also. I'm going to marinate them now. First, we are going to marinate the fish bones and fish head. Just put in two tablespoons of Chinese rice wine. Use your hand and just mix them up well. And after this, just put them aside. You'll pan fry this in a while. And this will be the basis of our stock. Okay, now after this, we will marinate the meat, fish meat. For the fish meat, you have to slice them thinly like this. I'm going to add in half a teaspoon of salt. Using your hand, mix them around until you can feel that they are sort of uh, sticking to your fingers. In Chinese, we call this qi jiao. Heat up a pan, add in a little bit of oil, swirl the oil around, put the fish head, fish bones all in, skin side first. Also add in 15 grams of sliced ginger. We are using young ginger over here. The fry each side approximately about 2 or 3 minutes. Right. When it's almost cooked, we add in one and a half liters of hot water. In order to create better taste for the stock, I'm going to add in one piece of ikan bilis or anchovies stock cube. You can use chicken cube if you want to. Put the lid on and let them boil for approximately 20 minutes. The stock has been cooking for 20 minutes. Let's have a look. Look at how beautiful the stock is. Okay, now we'll turn off the flame and we'll take the soup aside. Now heat up a pot, add in a little bit of oil. Swirl the oil around. I'm going to add in 15 grams of minced young ginger. Five pieces of bird's eye chili, chopped up. Remove the seeds if you don't want the heat to linger. Normally for this dish, they use pao jiao or preserved chili, but it's not easy to get it in Singapore. So I'm just using bursai chili. Five cloves of garlic chop. Add in also 200 grams of pickled mustard. I've washed this. These are the sour type. Okay, there's two types in the market. One is the saltish type and this is the sour type that I'm using over here. Don't cut them too small, okay? Just move them around in the pot so that the paste can all be merged together. Well, oh, smelling very, very good now. A little bit spicy, but this is how we like it. Using a strainer, we'll strain the soup into the pot. Now we put the lid on and let it boil for approximately 10 minutes. 10 minutes is up, let's have a look. Right, we'll need to season this soup. We'll add in one teaspoon of sugar and one teaspoon of salt. You can put in some pepper. Now if you would like your soup to be a little bit on the sourry side, add in four tablespoons of vinegar. Turn the heat back on, let it boil. Now this soup is supposed to be sour and spicy. So once it's boiling, we put in the fish. Try to put it slice by slice. Okay, we don't have to boil them for way too long because I've sliced them very thinly, so they cook pretty fast. Okay, 
give it a light stir and we'll wait for the fish to be fully cooked this pot is part of a set from Shogun by La Gourmet it comes with frying pan, pots and of course the lid this is almost done normally in China what they do is they will add spring onions, some chili on top and pour hot cooking oil onto this soup but we want this to be healthy we are not going to add in any of the cooking oil so we will serve this now our dish is done so let's just give this a taste let's try the fish first mm. very smooth very fresh very nice time to try the soup wow spicy with a hint of ginger savory sour great really opens up my appetite so ladies and gentlemen this is how we cook our Sichuan style spicy pickled mustard fish soup so i hope you like our video do click like on our video and do subscribe to our channel thank you for watching